Sagittarius, thanks for visiting. Um, this is your reading for August the 5th to August the, the uh, 11th. When did I say that? I was going to say the 17th. I don't know what's wrong with me. And as I always ask you, uh, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. I don't mind. And I'm going to start your reading right now uh, for Sagittarius. So the first card you have your past is the Eight of Cups. Yes. Um, so yeah, I think, I think you're trying to, you know, I just think there are a lot of different things in your life and I think you're really trying to cut out a lot of things, trying to walk away from a lot of things. I'm not seeing you walking away from a specific person or people yet. You might do that. Uh, maybe not in love, but I think you might end up kind of distancing yourself from a lot of people in this process because I think um, I think this is a time of self or it was this was a time of self-improvement for you uh, clearing away old things so yeah I think you were doing a lot of other things as well I think you were probably working on your work prospects uh, getting ahead in work moving on to something else maybe or thinking about that um, I've seen this in your readings for a while I think about moving on at work um, I don't think you're able to put everything into action yet. I think um, there are a lot of things that you just, you know, you're just thinking about them at this stage. You know, you're definitely on the road to planning them and doing them. Um, with your work, I'm kind of getting a little bit of a, a mixed feeling there. There's a lot of responsibility that you have. Uh, I think you felt a little bit restricted um, with what you thought you could do. Uh, you might have just felt that you had a lot of people relying on you, a lot of responsibilities. Um, I don't think you should let any of that stop you. I'm not saying run away and just kind of escape all your responsibilities. I'm not saying that. But, um, you know, you can still have your job. You can stay in your job while you're planning new things. A lot of people stay in their job while they're looking or while they're starting another business. It's hard work, but it can be done. Uh, there's always a way out. Never feel totally stuck in things. Um, you know, I have a lot of people in my comments saying, oh, I can't do that, I'm too old, or I can't do that, I'm too young, or whatever, or this or that. You know, you're not, you're none of those things. You know, there are so many different ways to look at things. You know, right now we have technology. Uh, you know, you can reach so many people with that. There's so much you can do with that. It's just endless. Um, you know, maybe think about how you can use technology, I don't know, to move forward. Um, I am seeing something you might be able to start on your own, maybe, or start up something. Uh, I am seeing something technical, might not be anything to do with, um, you know, the internet or anything, it might be something else. Yeah, something, there's something technical, machinery, I don't know, I'm just, might not be, but that's what I'm seeing, that's what's came, coming into my head. Anyway, um, yeah, I also feel as if I need to say this because I'm getting this as well. Um, I think there might be a little bit of worry that you have around your qualifications or maybe you feel as if you lack qualifications. Um, you know, I think you do have a lot of skills, you have a lot of experience. I don't think it really matters. So just follow what you love, follow what you want to do. Follow what you instinctively know, you know, plan this, grow into this. You don't have to jump into this. This is something you can grow into. Um, I actually think one of your motivations for all these changes you're making in your life might actually be someone you're interested in, in love maybe. So if that's correct, I think this is a whole new person. I don't think this is an ex or anything like that. So if that's correct, um, that's fine. You know, it doesn't matter what the motivation is. I'm not going to say, oh, don't let that motivate you. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, just as a side thing, I was just thinking of this. Um, there are so many successful readers on here and uh, they started reading because of heartbreak. Now, that's really, really common. That's happened to so many people who read on here. I know I've heard that so many times. And uh, they're doing really well in what they do. Um, even though the motivation for that wasn't the happiest time for them, obviously, they've still made a new positive thing out of that. So, you know, whether you end up with this person, whether you don't or whatever, uh, your life's still going to improve in a major way. 
if you stay on this path, if you make all these improvements and you change your life, um, things are still going to improve for you either way. So you're better off doing that. That's what my, my, what my thoughts are around that anyway. Okay, so the next card you have, you passed, is uh, the Knight of Cups. Okay, so this isn't so positive. <laughs> what I'm seeing here is, uh, this is going to sound horrible, it's a mistake, a mistake in love, a big, big mistake, a great, big, fat mistake. So this is about someone you are with. Uh, you're not around them now, I don't think. I'm really happy you're not. Um, I think you probably knew this was a mistake maybe even quite early on, uh, but I think for some reason you felt as if you couldn't walk away. Uh, I'm getting this feeling of maybe maybe you weren't in a really good position financially or maybe you're in some other kind of difficult, vulnerable position. So you kind of felt as if you had to hang around there. Um, and I think mentally and emotionally, a part of you wanted to go along with this as well. So uh, there was some denial at the time, denying your emotions. Um, I think you just felt really out of place around them as well. I don't think you were your true self um, at this time, but you tried to make it work. You tried, but you know, it, it, yeah, it was a mistake basically. So, um, obviously, uh, this person who you'd like to get close to, who I'm seeing in the Eight of Cups, obviously it's not the same person as this. Um, yeah, it's someone else, but yeah, I'm really, really glad you're away from this because I'm also getting this really strong feeling of possession or control. It's it's like this claustrophobic feeling. It's like, I can't move, I can't move. Um, so, you know, I think all these changes that you've been making also, you know, they've been coming out of your own sense of freedom. Uh, it's this kind of, I'm free, I'm free. So I don't know if they stopped you from seeing other people, friends even. Um, I'm picking up on that as well. The fact that you felt really closed while you're with them and now you're kind of more open. So, yeah, I think you still have some ties to them though. Nothing emotional, there's no love there. Um, but there's some kind of a link. I don't know whether you have a child together. It might be that or it might be that uh, there's some kind of financial link there or something like that. Um, if that resonates and if you're still feeling a little bit claustrophobic because you you have you still have this tie to them, um, you know, just know you can minimize, you can minimize the contact you have with them. Uh, so think about Try to think about some strategies that might help you to do that. You know, minimum contact maybe, contact through email only can help sometimes. Uh, you know, it might be that you promise yourself you're only going to get into conversations um, that are essential. Everything outside of that, you're not going to even engage with them. It might be that. So think about all of that. Um, if that all makes sense to you, any of those things might help. So yeah, I'll move on to the next card. So the last card you have you passed is the Two of Wands. Okay, so this is a similar message. Look at this, look at this man. He's trying to go forward. He's trying to go into the world. He wants to move on, he wants to move forward, but there's still this wand behind him. And so yeah, there's still this tie that you have with this ax. They're still sort of hanging around you, behind you, like this wand lurking around behind you. Now, um, I think what this is showing me is that uh, you'll probably always have to have some kind of contact with them. Uh, so, um, you know, for some time into the future, you'll, or for some time in, for, into the future, you'll have to kind of contact with them. If it's a child, you know, obviously it's going to go on until they're an adult. So if it's that, um, you know, because this one's bolted into this wall, it's not going anywhere. So, or onto this wall, I should say. So uh, it's staying there. So this is really someone you're going to just have to deal with or you do already just have to deal with. So again, um, you can minimize the time you spend with them uh, and, you, and you need to take the control back. This is what this is showing me. They're kind of behind you all the time like a shadow and you need to take your freedom back. You need to take your control back. So there are ways that you're doing that. Even if you have to keep on seeing, there are ways that you can do that. So think about how you can do that. 
Okay, so the first card you have your presence, the Six of Wands. Fantastic, this is the victory card. So, yeah, uh, I think you are in the planning stages with a lot of these things. Uh, and I think this is probably telling you that this is time to kind of start taking action, start moving forward on some of these things. Uh, you might be stalling some things. Uh, it This might be uh, a confidence thing, I don't know. Uh, I think you'd feel a lot stronger, a lot more powerful, a lot more confident if you started some of these things. You know, you feel like, okay, I'm getting somewhere. I'm doing this. I can do this. You know, it's that kind of thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, you can absolutely do this. You know, again, this is the victory card. So that's what this is showing you. The other thing I'm seeing here is I'm just looking at this and I'm also looking at the Knight of Cups as well. You know, these two white horses. So, yeah, because there are two white horses, uh, this is showing me that um, you, your intentions were pure in this relationship, in this past relationship, this tie that you still have with this ex, this mistake. You had pure intentions. Uh, they didn't, but you felt like you couldn't get out for whatever reason, but now you're out. And I think, um, you know, if you look at these horses as well, they're also really heavily decorated. So maybe this ex had more um, superficial reasons to be in this relationship. Maybe there was a lot of um, show here, or, you know, they did a lot of things for show, but there wasn't much genuineness behind that. That can be what that's about as well. And I think they also might still be talking to people right now or maybe giving them some kind of a false image of the relationship you had. Or they might even be talking about you now, saying things that aren't true. Uh, they're a little bit of a troublemaker. I'm getting a lot of superficiality, not being very genuine problems, causing problems, things like that. So if that all resonates with you, try to ignore it as much as you can. Don't get drawn in. Keep your dignity. You know, this man's up on a high horse. He has his head held high. And that's the way you need to be. I know it's hard, especially if you're hearing gossip and things like that, but don't stoop to that level you know it's only going to add fuel to their gossip and it's only going to add more drama and that's not what you need they're a bit of a kind of uh, a loose cannon kind of thing so if you start to kind of poke or a bit of a bear you know if you start poking at it it's going to start growling and, and causing problems so just kind of keep your head held high and don't kind of engage with them you know as much as you possibly can but that's what I'm seeing now so the next card you have your presence, the star. So yeah, I love this card, it's beautiful. I'm seeing a few things here. Uh, again, I think this might be a reminder, uh, kind of reminding you to plan these things out and then go make an effort toward these goals. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at this beautiful golden star and uh, you know, to the woman in this card, it's up in the sky, it's a bit like a wish or an aspiration. It's not close to her right now. It's not in front of her. It's far away from her. So um, it's a little bit like, you know, I want this to happen. I want these things to happen, but they don't feel close to me right now. They kind of feel quite far away from me. So I don't know if this can actually happen. You know, so to get close to this goal, this big golden star, you're going to have to take a lot of little steps first. You know, if you look at the smaller white stars, they look at a little bit like stepping stones. So you'll need to take small steps before you can get to the main goal, the big one. So I think as you take each small step, um, your confidence is going to really, really grow as well. So by the time you get to the big goal, um, I think you'll be ready confidence wise. And you know, if this is making any sense to you at all, it might not make any sense to you, <laughs> probably doesn't, but if it does, um, don't look at this great big goal and think, oh, it's too much, it's too big, I can never get there, it's too big, you know, it's like this great big mountain, I can never climb it. Look at the little goal in front of you first. Concentrate on the little stepping stone. Say, okay, I'm not gonna think about that great big thing. I'm just going to think about this little thing in front of me. That's doable, I can do that. So let's work toward that. Get onto that stepping stone and then look at the next one. 
So keep on going on these little stones until you get to this great big star. I think that's the message there. Um, I'm also seeing someone else who's a little bit attracted to you as well. I think they're physically attracted to you. Um, they're a little bit shy, they're a little bit vulnerable because sometimes this woman can be, uh, can represent vulnerability. Um, yeah, I think that around you, I think they might be flirting a little bit, but they're kind of a little bit shy. So you might have someone around you who comes towards you, starts chatting and laughing a little bit and kind of flirting a bit. And you kind of think, are they flirting or are they just friendly? And then they disappear again for a while and then they come back again. So if someone's doing that to you, uh, just know that they'd really like to get close to you. They're very physically attracted to you, I can see that. But they're kind of just a little bit vulnerable, a little bit unsure, and they're kind of going backwards and forwards. So that's the other thing I'm seeing in that card. Okay, so the last card you have your presence, the Eight of Wands. Okay, so, okay. I think your feelings of wanting to move on from this old work situation or this one you're in now, uh, I think they're probably going to start to feel a lot more urgent for you. Um, I'm actually seeing arguments. Uh, there might be arguments between you and a colleague, or it might just be that, um, yeah, it might just be that you witness some arguments around you. It, it gives the, the atmosphere a really uncomfortable kind of edge. Whatever this is, um, I think you're just going to feel a lot more uncomfortable where you are at work. So uh, again, that doesn't mean you have to jump out and find something new right now. But if things get too bad, um, you know, it might be that you have to find something else just for now, just to keep yourself going financially while you're planning these other things out. But, you know, if you can bear to stay there for now, I'd do that because I think, you know, again, you do have a lot of responsibilities and you don't want to turn this job stress into money stress. But keep on planning, definitely. Um, you know, just be aware that there's a lot of tension um, around you uh, in the workplace. And if that's all happening, uh, it might be that the universe is trying to push you along a bit out of your workplace and into your new goals. That can happen sometimes, so just be aware that that might be what that is as well. Okay, so the first card you have your future is the Four of Pentacles. So yeah, I'm getting this. I'm getting this all over this reading. This fear of you wanting to move into new things. You know, whether that's a new business, uh, a career, or whatever, but. Um, you know, it's the sense of responsibility that you have that keeps on holding you back. There's nothing wrong with that. Being responsible is a very good thing. It's an admirable thing. Um, it might help you to feel a little bit better if you could save a bit more money, maybe, because, you know, that's what I'm seeing when I'm looking at this card. Um, you know, he's holding on to these coins, obviously. So, you know, if you can't do that, fair enough. Not everyone can do that. Uh, it's just, you know, I was just thinking that, you know, if you... If you put away a little bit more money, you might feel a bit more secure. Uh, you know, you might feel as if you can uh, be a little bit bolder. I don't know, it's just a thought, it might not work. I know not everyone can do that. Um, but yeah, that's just a thought anyway. So the other thing I'm seeing in this card is, I think this person in the Knight of Cups, uh, this ex, this mistake person, <laughs> um, yeah, this might sound totally crazy to you. I don't know, maybe it is, but this is what I'm seeing. Um, I actually think they miss you. Um, you know, I'm, you know I'm see I am seeing them gossiping, talking about you, causing problems, all that kind of thing. I think they're trying to get some kind of attention from you and it's because they want to hold on to you. And they're not going about this in a very smart way, obviously. Um, you know, they're, they're doing anything they can to get your attention. A bit like a naughty child wanting attention because they can't get what they want. It's a little bit like that. I'm, I, it sounds like I'm being horrible to this person. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing mistake all over this, all through this reading. So I don't think uh, anything that they're doing is going to change your opinion of them. But you know, just know that this is what I think, this is where I think this behavior is coming from. So if this is all resonating with you, if they're causing problems, if they're gossiping, if they're doing all sorts of crazy antics, 
I think it's kind of a, a strange way of trying to get your attention. That's what I'm seeing. So the next card you have your future is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so this is interesting, you know, because I'm seeing two eights here. So, uh, you know, the Eight of Wands was about your work situation, problems in your work situation. And this is obviously about work as well. So um, they're two eights. So the eights are uh, the infinity symbol. So I think you're always going to have this sort of inner reluctance, I'm trying to say the word reluctance, this kind of inner fear of, you know, letting go of where you are. Even if it's horrible, you're going to have this kind of like, oh no, uh, I need to be responsible. And that's fine. Um, but I think I'm getting so many messages all over this of encouragement, trying to help you to kind of move forward, thinking of all these different strategies and ways and thinking like that. So think about these strategies, you know, try and get yourself to move forward out of this, even if it's just slowly, little steps like I'm seeing in the star, um, you know, getting some savings if you can, um, you know, all sorts of these different things I'm seeing here. So, you know, it's fantastic to be a responsible person, but a happy person's a responsible person as well, because if you're not happy, you can't step up to your responsibilities properly. You can't keep the people around you happy who you're trying to be responsible for if you're not happy yourself. So think about that. You know, you've got to think about yourself and your own happiness as well. So the last card you have your future is the Page of Wands. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. Don't be afraid. <laughs> I think this mistake person, I think they might try to connect with you again uh, a lot more than they already are, this ex. And again, I think you have to have some communication with them for some reason. So uh, yeah, I'd try and keep that to a minimum if I were you. Uh, they're not strategic. They're not a planner. Uh, you know, if they're trying to gossip and cause problems and all of that one minute, and then the next minute they're wanting to connect or be nice to you or whatever and talk to you the next minute, they're not the most sensible or stable person. And you know that. You know that very, very well. So just watch out for that. Uh, they might even have someone else that they're with. They might be in another relationship as well. I think they are. So uh, if you're communicating with them, apart from the essential things, be very, very careful, especially if they're with someone else, because there's this big, big potential for lots of drama, uh, their partner getting jealous, them trying to make them jealous so that they kind of start things with you and there's all sorts of crazy drama. So be very careful. Grey rock them if you know what that is. Try and be as boring as you can. Don't um, start anything that you possibly can. If they start drama, ignore it. Try to say nothing. Try to keep out of their way. I think that's the best way to deal with that person. So Sagittarius. I hope this resonated. Well, some of it, the best bits anyway. But uh, as you know, uh, these readings are general. They can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you'd like to. And thank you so much for watching.